What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. This is the review of the Skechers Razor, Skechers new speed boot in their new football lineup. So very exciting to get my hands on a pair of these. Let's hop straight into the unboxing. So the Skechers uh, ha come in this Skechers football box, which is a new box, obviously, for, uh, for the football kind of portion of their brand. They've actually got the tech specs on this box, which is also super interesting. Hopefully you can read that. So it says uh, the Hyperburst Pro, carbon infused plate, and Skechers Performance Fitnit. We'll get into all that stuff so you don't need to read through it. Uh, but it's really interesting that they put kind of the biggest highlights of that boot right here, which is kind of an interesting thing. So the Comfort Technology Company, that's one of their uh, taglines. And then here we go. So this is Skechers Razor. These are a USA 9 or a 10.5 in women's, a Euro 42.5, a UK 8, and a 27 centimeters in this coral and silver colorway, which is going to go along with their other kind of more control or, or power boot, if you will, with the SKX-01, which is their the boot that Harry Kane um, debuted very recently for Bayern Munich. And then, of course, I had the all blackout pair. So very, very cool. Skechers football there as well. Here we go. I'm very excited and intrigued by this pair of football boots. I think this is going to be a really interesting uh, addition to the football boot or the speed boot thing. So here we go. So we've got a Skechers football. There you go. You can see that. This is a very, very Nike-esque bag. Like there is nothing about this that says Skechers. This is like this basically feels like a Nike bag, which is very, very funny to me. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's jump into the unboxing. Wow, those are bright. Holy moly. Ladies and gentlemen, the Skechers Razor. What an interesting pair of football boots. Right away, I'm feeling some of the technology that comes into play, which we'll talk about. And what a crazy looking sole plate as well. Some interesting things that this sole plate looks a lot like from past football boots and or current football boots. Interesting. Okay, let's get the other one out of the box and we'll see what these are like. All right. So starting off, I want to start first off with uh, this upper material or this forefoot area, which I'll take this paper out and share with you guys. So this forefoot area is Definitely a little kind of plasticky feeling, I will say. It's nothing like the old Ghosted series, not that kind of plasticky, but it is a synthetic material. It's a synthetic microfiber forefoot. Uh, there's a lot of similarities that at least the texturing from like a, if you put your kind of fingernails on it, this feels a lot like Vapor 10 of old. Those uh, very, very similar. That was obviously called Tasian Synthetic. This might be the same material, but it does resist resemble that Tasian synthetic very, very much as far as uh, the, the way this feels. Although I will say it does feel at least to the touch a little bit more padded um, on the inside. If I put my finger in there, it doesn't feel a whole lot like there's a bunch of padding on the inside, but that's just the sensation I get when I put my push my thumbs into there. So that's something interesting. That's kind of their, the highlight of this football boot, I guess, to give you uh, a really nice fit in that forefoot area. And then you've got the Fitnit back quarter for support and some ventilation, which is this kind of the back quarter basically runs from this seam here all the way around to this seam there. And then of course you've got that fit knit through the collar as well to give you a very seamless sensation. It's very similar to a lot of other football boots that we see on the market right now as far as that one piece upper construction, so to speak, even if it is technically two different materials or even three different materials in this case between uh, this little kind of synthetic uh, textured material here on the midfoot this synthetic through the forefoot and then the knit material, their, their uh, Skechers fit knit, which is again, Nike's fly knit, um, Adidas has their own, Puma has their own, all that stuff. So very, very cool. Uh, they are quite light, which is interesting to me as well. These run right under the seven ounce mark, I believe, which is right around 200 grams. So then you've got a quite a bit of focus on the comfort. So you've got an internal heel counter that sits, if I push down, it sits about right there. So it goes up maybe two thirds of the way up 
the heel area and the idea behind they're marketing this quite a bit as a really comfortable football boot so that's something that i'm interested by in the on feet portion of the video whether they will actually this will actually be uh, a super comfortable football boot it does look a lot more anatomical from straight down where the camera sits right now similar to the skx i know i talked a lot about how the skx zero one those blackout pair were basically a phantom gt but better shape better fit better sizing all that stuff this very much looks like a combination of a couple different speed boots it looks a little bit and has similar construction to furon v6 pro which was the previous generation of furon obviously it's got this very similar material to that uh, that nike vapor 10 elite and then of course you've got this sole plate which is carbon infused and looks very similar with this kind of dimpled texturing here with the any of the most recent adidas speed boots particularly the crazy fast that this resembles that quite a bit obviously with these studs being a little bit more aggressive in both size and in uh, shape in that chevron way so speaking of the sole plate this is a carbon infused they're marketing this as carbon infused sole plate so what i think is going on here is that if we take out this hyper burst pro sock liner um, which i will talk about right now actually is a reasonably thick sock liner and they actually use this sock liner or a very similar derivative of it uh, there's the razor branding as well so you can see that uh, with their top end running shoes so the idea behind this is almost it's very similar to what ultra boost was supposed to be in some of the ace models and stuff and it's a little bit more cushiony to give you a little bit more bouncy and responsive sensation while also allowing your foot to kind of sit into the bed of the shoe which i think is a it's a nice idea and it also as long as it doesn't add a ton of bulk to the football boot i think uh, i am a huge fan of this type of insole that adds just a little bit of plushness to it uh, obviously not anything like the air zoom unit in the nike vapor 15 a liter or anything like that but it does add a little bit of cushion which uh, i hope to talk about a little bit or hope to notice even on the on feet portion of the video so in here i hope you can see there really doesn't look like at least when i'm looking in here doesn't look like there's any carbon on the bottom like there's not a carbon plate that goes into here like we saw in the carbatex inserts of the 99 gram leather or any of those you know speed portal uh, ghosted series models they do say carbon infused on the bottom though so whether that's an insert here on the heel area uh, they do actually have quite a bit of snapback which is cool so it does feel like a boot that's going to give you a nice amount of traction while also giving you some good snapback and hopefully some good cushioning so it does seem like this football boot has a lot going for it especially with some of the materials in the forefoot area that i know a lot of people will uh, if they are somebody who played in the Vapor 10 way back in the day, way back in the day, several years ago now, uh, they might really enjoy this forefoot. Obviously it remains to be said because I haven't actually tried these boots on yet, but the hope is that that is what it goes for with a focus on comfort as well. So that's sort of all that I can get engage from this Skechers Razor. I am really intrigued by this football boot because I do think it runs, at least in look, definitely a little bit more anatomically shaped, a little bit wider compared to some of the other speed boots on the market. You've got Furon, you've got uh, the Vapor 15, you've got the Crazy Fast series, and I will say that from a look perspective, these actually, especially here in the toe area, fit the shape of that SKX a little or remind me a little bit of that skx shape in the way that these are they fit in the toe area or they look in the toe area and that's really great for me because the skx out of the box fit me really really well the shape of the toe area and toe box was really nice and i'm hoping with this kind of cushiony material here and uh, hopefully this nice bit of texturing on it as well i'm going to get a good touch on the ball nice amount of a little bit of grip maybe um, which would be excellent and then of course a nice fit through this heel area which would be a very welcome addition to the speed boot market for potentially a little bit wider footed players which i'm excited for so without further ado guys let's just hop straight into the on feet portion of the video that is usually my favorite part i love tech specs it's cool um, but definitely uh, somebody who loves to try on and test boots which is why i do the one month reviews because it's just super fun so let's hop into the on feet portion of the video we'll talk about sizing we'll talk about by the way this is a 9 us which is my usual size 
We'll talk about sizing, we'll talk about fit, feel, what it's like on ball, and hopefully get some touches in it. I do have a small little like captain's practice training session tomorrow morning, so there's a chance I might jump into these and do some final thoughts at the end of the video. So let's hop straight into it. All right, fam, out here on the pitch with the new Skechers Razor. I am really excited about these football boots for a couple different reasons. One is uh, the comfort level of these seems to be a main marketing point. So I'm hoping that they actually follow through with that. We'll see when I uh, get a chance to try these on. I got to take this uh, attention. The This chrome finish will wear off with use sticker. Put it in my pocket here and let's get straight into the on feet portion so these are a really really nice looking pair of football boots i think they definitely remind me a lot of that version 6 so the v6 of the furon they have that very similar shape in my opinion uh, although these tend to look a little bit wider maybe you know we'll see if once we try these on if they actually are or whether they are just a super thin boot that i cannot fit in okay here we go so getting these on doesn't seem to be too complicated. Uh, the knit obviously provides a little bit less uh, mobility getting into the football boot, but right away, oh, okay, all right, these are not bad. So the it seems like this synthetic material, this microfiber synthetic material on uh, the forefoot area is definitely going to stretch. That's what it feels like. Like it feels very uh, leather-like in the way that it'll stretch in some respects. Um, this knit material in the this fit knit in the midfoot seems to wrap your foot really well and uh, the material in the heel area seems pretty comfortable so far let's uh stand up and get this other one on but pretty pretty decent right out of the box i don't think these are a boot that i'm gonna have in my mainstay just as far as um they haven't maybe they'll break in a little bit on that lateral side but they do seem to have a little bit of squeezing here where the synthetic from the microfiber in the forefoot and then this kind of mesh based synthetic and knit material here on the midfoot combined so that's what i'm kind of interested by uh, we'll see if i actually get any sort of hot spots as i start to play in them for the one month review as you know we're wrapping up season here for flower city that's going to be something that i'm going to be able to do a little bit more is rotate boots just because um, when i am playing for uh, my pro team i don't like to do a ton of boot rotation just because it's like you know i don't want to be thinking about the boots that i'm wearing so it's kind of a an interesting uh, interesting choice of vocation if you will but here are the sketchers razor on feet and i gotta admit for a straight out of the box first attempt at a speed boot these are not bad i will say they're they're definitely a little bit on kind of the awkward shape. Uh, I've got a pretty big little opening right here on the side of my ankle. As most of you know, this happens with quite a few boots on the market for me because I've got a really uh, pretty wide toe box, really wide midfoot here. I've got a bone that kind of sticks out in this area down here. And then I've got a really thin heel area. So there are very few boots that actually fit me uh, where the boot fits totally flush to my feet. Oftentimes I need either a runner's knot here so that it pulls all that material tight flush to my ankle or a boot that's just got a wider shape in general so um, no complaints really from that standpoint it doesn't affect the play at all but i will say that it is something to keep in mind um, as i start to wear these more but as far as the heel area goes the heel area seems to be pretty decent straight out of the box no complaints there there's no hot spots quite yet uh, which is a really good sign as well. So really looking forward to having these uh, more on feet. And then the microfiber in the forefoot, I will say, is pretty enjoyable. I, I actually think these are quite comfortable here in the forefoot area. I'm getting a little bit of pinching now here on the outsides of my feet, but that is definitely not uncommon for uh, a first time out of the box for uh, a football boot that is, especially in the speed boot category, because those often tend to be quite a bit thinner than a lot of the other stuff but here is a look at the boots on feet uh they are really nice looking in my opinion i hope they come out with more colorways and stuff i don't think i think these are a little bit better looking even though i'm more of a blue person than i am a like pink or peach or red colorway person 
Uh, I would say that the blue of the SKX is a little bit eh looking, in my opinion. I really like the all black version, um, but this, this football boot actually feels really, really good. The sole plate is definitely aggressive. I would say these are for sure on par with uh, the Furon, which also only has those Chevron studs. I would say these dig into the AG pitch almost even more than those do. And so for those of you who are maybe at risk of injuring knees or ankles, I probably wouldn't recommend this type of sole plate. Uh, potentially in the future, Skechers will come out with an AG model. I, I don't have any information on that, so I apologize for uh, not, you know, not knowing that, if you will. Uh, but at the end of the day, these are a reasonably comfortable pair of football boots uh, in the speed category that do have a fair amount of width to them. I don't get the same pinching that I have on the regular uh, normal fit edition of the Furons. Those are super thin. Vapors are fairly thin. Uh, I would say the midfoot of the crazy fast 0.1 and 0.1 laces are thinner than this, but the, the forefoot of the Adidas boots is, is a little bit wider than that. Touch on the ball is pretty good. As I said before, so this is, uh, a lot of people are talking about this as compared to the Vapor 10, which I have tried on. It was a long time ago when those first came out. Um, but I will say as my uh, thoughts in the unboxing portion of the video are, uh, this four foot microfiber texture that actually has quite a bit of resemblance to that, uh, that Tasian synthetic, maybe it's the same material, maybe it's not. Uh, my feeling in the unboxing was that this is just a little bit more packed added feeling, if you will, like, you know, air quotes. Um, and that's definitely the sensation that I have here. So these are, this does feel a little bit more almost like leather-like. I know that's kind of crazy to say for a synthetic material, um, but it does feel a little bit more like the thickness of leather. So you do get uh, a nice touch on the ball from that standpoint and really do get uh, not a one-to-one -one sensation like you would on that vapor. This is much more of like a really thin leather type of feel as opposed to that. It is quite a bit slippery. So it, it is a little bit wet right now and these are quite a bit slippery. So there's no uh, grip elements on the ball from a boot standpoint. So if that is something that's important to you, just keep that in mind as you are uh, potentially gonna purchase a pair of these uh, Razor boots from, um, from Skechers. But as far as, you know, again, overall comfort and shape, they do have a pretty decent overall comfort and shape. I will definitely be training in these, try to break these in. These do feel like they're gonna stretch and mold around my foot even, uh, which is a fairly wide foot, which is a which is a great thing for the Skechers brand, kind of making sure that they can accommodate more foot shapes and more foot types, which is a huge thing. I know New Balance does the 2E fit, the wide fit variation as well as the normal fit, which I think should be the standard across the whole board. Um, but if you make a boot that's got the ability to stretch and mold around wider foot types, fair enough as well. Um, it's something like the GX, right? Thinner feet can fit in there as well as wider feet. So for me, these are a great pair of football boots to, uh, as an entry point for Skechers. I mean, I say great, not as a objective judgment compared to other boots on the market, but as a first, kind of a, um, I will say a first go at a pair of speed boots. These are a definitely a good shout from uh, the Skechers brand. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will leave the video for the SKX01 right here. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see y'all in the next video.